okay, I'm broke, I don't have money. What's been really bothering me is that I see people spending all their money on traveling and all these other things and then they complain about money and how they don't have money, they're broke. Yes, I still spend money on food, going out and like I, one thing that I love spending money on are um, drinks. I love experiencing new bars and just going to breweries. Like, I love that part of life. Hello! Happy Sunday, you guys. It's also Mother's Day, so happy Mother's Day to all you mothers out there. Um, this is actually my take two for this video because the first one had way too many freaking interruptions. Buzz came in, Buzz wanted to go out, and then Mark called me and you could hear all these other things so I'm just gonna redo this video but I will include some of those things because I want you guys to see Buzz um, but let me show you guys this this is what I'm drinking right now it's also like 2 p.m. and I'm in my PJ still but it's my lazy day so it's fine um, and it's Mother's Day and I'm technically a mother because Buzz is my child but this is my smoothie. <laughs> Costco has this new, um, these new like frozen fruit packets or fruit and veggie packets. It's like six individual packets in a huge pack. And it has like frozen bananas, strawberries, blueberries, kale, and spinach. So those are all the things that I usually put in my smoothies. So it's perfect. Um, but I actually added some more stuff because I tried it on its own and it was not good it just i don't know it was way too icy so this time i added uh, one banana or another banana yeah there were only like two small slices of bananas in the packet so i had put another freaking banana in there almond butter chia seeds and turmeric oh and some celery yeah and water and it tastes so good it's so yummy I love fruit and veggie smoothies. I could drink them every day. It's just, I'm too lazy to make it every day. Um, oh yeah, another thing. My braces are gone. I think it's been like two weeks. Um, but yeah, no more braces. And yes, I'm wearing my, my retainers, but for this, the purpose of this video, I took them off because I have this really weird lisp that comes out when I'm talking kind of fast and I don't want to have to talk this slow. Anyways, um, let's get to the point of this video. What was my point? Oh yeah, I wanted to talk about something that's been on my mind lately. And this is something that I hear a lot from one of my aunts and uncles especially from my uncle and he's always saying and I quote what does he say uh your generation you millennials are all about experiences traveling and spending your money on those things and my generation was all about working hard and you know, we were too scared of getting fired and asking for time off so we just work and when he started saying that to me a few years ago, I used to get kind of offended. But I think in the past year, I have really realized that is so true. My generation is a lot, not everybody, but I was like this too. Um, I'm not really anymore, but I used to be all about spending my money on experiences, whether it's clothes, traveling, food, all these things that I didn't need, I just wanted to do. Um, but what changed my mind recently is a few months ago, Mark and I realized that we're ready to move in together, we want our own space, and here we are living in the Bay Area where it's super freaking expensive. So, we realized we need to save money. 
Oh wait, I should make sure that I started a video. Hold on. <laughs> Is it going? Yes, it's going. Okay, I'm good. We're good. I just wasn't sure, so I just double checked. Oh, my hair. Yeah, my mirror's right over there, so if I look over there, I'm looking at myself. <laughs> but yeah, so back to my thoughts. Mark and I realized we're ready to move in together. We want our own space. But to do that, we need money. <laughs> and so I really realized that, you know, one thing that we really enjoy doing is um, for the past three years, we've gone to LA at least twice every year. And it's it has a lot to do with the food. It is, well, yeah, it's usually mainly for the food. <laughs> If you follow us on Instagram or me on Instagram at all, when we go to LA, it's all just food. We're eating like at 10 different places in one day. And they're mostly Korean. And that's because besides my grandma's cooking at home, the Bay Area doesn't really have good Korean food. And so I go to LA for it. And I love the weather there. I just love being there. Being in LA is just has been a part of my life since I was really young. I think I used to go to LA almost once a year with uh, my aunt and uncle, and we used to always eat in K-Town. So being able to do that as an adult on my own, or, you know, with Mark, um, I just, I love it. I love the experience. I love the food. But, and then, technically it's not super expensive, it's kind of, it can be cheap if you find really good deals. And we also try to save money. So instead of like flying down, we try to drive down every time. But I realized it's still money. And I'd rather put that money towards living together, towards saving so we can have our own space. And Oh yeah, while I'm talking about it, there's another thing that like really bothers me um, that I notice a lot of people do. I've always hated it. I hate when people say, um, I'm broke, I don't have money, yet they're still going out. I see them, I see you guys spending, and I know some of you, I'm close to some of you guys, and I've never openly said this to anyone because for me, it's their life. I am not against people, I, I don't care what you do with your money, but I just don't like when people are spending all their money on clothes, experiences, food, traveling, but then they still come out and they openly say, I'm broke, I don't have money. Even if it's a joke, it's very frustrating for me because I have been in situations where I'm actually pretty broke but I don't openly say it because I don't want to make anyone feel uncomfortable even if it's a joke like I don't want anyone to feel uncomfortable like by what I'm saying and you know it's just why would you say these things but you're obviously you obviously have money because you're spending it on all these other things so yeah, it just really bothers me because, honestly, I used to spend all my money on clothes before I started traveling um, on my own. I started traveling on my own when I turned, was I 18 or 19? I think I was almost 19. I went to Disneyland with one of my girls for, and that was like my first tra vacation without my family, so that was great. Um, but ever since I started working when I was 16, I spent all my money on clothes. Clothes, shoes, but for the past few years, I've actually been really good. I think since I turned 19, um, I'm about to turn 23, <laughs> one more month and it's my birthday. But anyways, okay. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I used to spend all my money on clothes, but in the past few years, I've been really good. I buy, well, 
thankfully, I have two aunts, one that I live with and another one that's really close by to me and they're both like around, we're all like the same size and they're both like, they both have different styles but I like like bits and pieces from their styles so that's how I save a lot of money, I borrow a lot of their clothes or they just give me what they don't want. <laughs> So, in that way, I've been really lucky. Um, I've been saving money on clothes that way. And I just... I haven't been wanting to spend money on clothes. Like, I'll see things and I'm just like, eh, it's okay. I used to also spend a lot of money on shoes. I don't know why I have so many freaking shoes. But, um, shoes that I don't even wear. But... I used to be like this when I was really young. Um, my grandma hated this habit of mine, but I would wear my shoes, the same shoes, every single day until they ripped. And I don't know why, just because I, it was hard for me to find different shoes that I liked. I always would find like one. That's really loud. My grandma's doing something downstairs in the kitchen. So if you guys hear that, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, I used to only find one pair of shoes that I really liked, and I would just wear the crap out of them. And then, yeah, I don't know where I'm going with this. It was just a really bad habit of mine. My grandma and just hated it. She didn't understand why I was doing that. Um, but I just didn't see a point, I guess. I don't know what I was thinking when I was, like, 10 years old. I did that until I was, like, 14 just because I was really simple and I think I'm still pretty simple um I only wear like a few pairs of shoes like all the time I have my docks and a pair of sneakers and flats three shoes that I wear all the time yeah but I have all these other ones that I don't wear I don't know why, but it's okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> where am I going with this? I'm so confused. I don't even know, but it's okay because Sushi Sunday was for me and myself and for anyone that wants to listen to me ramble on about my life and my thoughts. But yeah, the point of this video was mainly about <laughs> just experiences and how a lot of my generation is and I just like yeah I don't know I mean if you can afford it why not like if I could afford it completely just really comfortably and not worry about oh where do I have to save money of course go for it like I would do it but I think it bothers me like I'm just gonna repeat myself it really bothers me when people just complain about not having money or being broke like and you're spending all, you're obviously spending all your money on all this other stuff if you were really worried about money and you wanted to save for something you would do it and for me personally I would rather spend my money on these experiences later on when I can comfortably afford it when I don't have to worry about like oh Am I going to have enough money for gas or what about groceries? Like things like that. I don't want to have to worry about that. And I feel like right now a lot of people do, yet they still spend all their freaking money on all these other things and then complain about it. If you don't complain, it's fine. I think. Because I don't want to hear about it. I really don't. Don't complain to me that you don't have money or you're broke when I can obviously see you doing all these other things. Just doesn't make sense. That's the point. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Thank you guys for listening. It's been a great talk. I'm gonna go back to drinking my smoothie. I haven't touched this and I made it like 20 minutes ago. <sighs> Cry. And I should edit this video so I can get it out. Uh, and I wanna work out today. Yeah, but half my day's gone. I'll make the rest of it productive. Alright. Thank you guys for listening.
and I'll see you guys next time. I don't know when that'll be, but yeah, we'll figure it out. Okay, make sure you guys follow, like, and subscribe, and make sure to comment below. Let me know how this was or whatever. And if you want to see more of me, you can find me on Instagram at Sushi Eats, and you can also find Mark at Make a Mark. Yay! Thank you. Happy Sunday. Bye. Love you guys. Really? That's Buzz. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but he's scratching on my door. Hey. Um, I don't know. Oh. Hold on. Buzz wants to go down. And Mark's calling. Hello? Hi, I'm driving to work now. Okay, I'm shooting a video. Sorry. <laughs> Bye. Yeah, okay, bye. Also, before I forget, make sure you guys check out my first Sushi Sunday video. Okay, bye. See you guys next time.